very interesting and beautiful, as I've said over and over, but I get so excited about this kind of stuff. And for me, it's, it's geology, it's erosion, it's sandstone, it's shales, it's 50 million years old. It's, it's, it's geology. geology, it's erosion, it's sandstone, sandstone. it's shales. It's 50 million years old. Give me a break. It's, it's geology. It's erosion. It's sandstone. It's shales. It's 50 million years old. Oh, Myron. Myron, Myron. And when I think of that 50 million year old sandstone oh. that was weathered out because of erosional processes with water and millions, millions of years. years. And the full history here, it is truly breathtaking. For me, it's no different than looking up into the night skies. And what? And, and what? Seeing, um, and what? The spectacular stars and and, and all the, the big space. Space, and, that's And the impact that it makes. And the impact it makes, that's right. So here I am in a slightly different area, about a half a mile away, kneeling next to uh, some smaller hoodoos. And what else? And what else? Toadstools. That's right. Tend to be called Toads, toadstools. And one might ask, well, I think I've seen photos of larger ones. Uh, aren't they called hoodoos? And indeed. And we do have them here. Uh, let me show you. I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll take a look and see what we see. Stand up here and just turn that camera right around. Oh, for the love of God, Myron. These are columns. Reveal. These are columns. These are building columns. Beautiful hoodoo here and walk along. And you'll notice in the distance, there are more. Yeah, yeah. Big look, hoodoos. same height, same height back here. And they're all about here. Same but height. This one I, is kind of my favorite that I've encountered so far. There may be more that I'll discover later. That's the beauty of hiking around as a geologist. Oh, give me a. So I'm going to walk up to this hoodoo here, this bigger beauty. Oh my God. And uh, let's enjoy the beautiful coloring of the muds underneath, the banding within those that indicate different levels of soil formation. No, they don't. I'll talk to in the future when I get into the geology of this particular formation, right. trapped by a big piece of sandstone. That was the top of the column. And we saw miniature versions of that earlier today. The floor was up there. And now we're starting to get a sense of how these form. We can surmise that well, in fact, this big piece of sandstone was part of a larger unit. Yes, yeah, a much bigger building. And that the rest has weathered away around it. Melted away. Because the shale, these mudstones and shales underneath are very weak. And they weather and make things around it unstable. Well, well how does that happen? And so we combine that geology. We combine the geology with the, the erosional processes oh. to make something truly magnificent. Well, now that we've made some observations, I thought I'd give you an opportunity to have to take a test. Sorry about this, but uh, let's see what you think about this clump of dirt here, this beautiful mound of dirt. Why is that there? It's Why do you think? It's a column, Myron. Given what you know and what we've seen, what we've learned. Well, there's buildings there? in the background. There's buildings here in the there foreground. Was a large sandstone sitting on top of that. Yeah, it fell off. Piece of sandstone that protected the ground underneath it from being eroded away. Well, that, that's what the floor does and above. And then the sandstone fell off. So that's how you can reason through things. Oh, great and, reasoning, uh, you're Myron. Doing a great job. Great. So yeah, I am doing. Go. I am doing a and great to job. Make my point a little. I'm easier. doing a great job. Look what we have right over here. <clears throat> what more toads? Yes, us? indeed. Hoodoos. Beautiful hoodoos. Yeah. Very interesting hoodoos. And you can imagine if the rock fell off, the big chunk of sandstone, and the rain continued to pour.